My name is Ramsey Mallory. I'm based out of Chicago, Illinois. I personally felt I was struggling with um, booking. Basically, I, mean, I was getting callbacks, but I wasn't booking things, right? And I, I felt like I didn't have a clear like roadmap on how to do it. Cause you know, I was just, I just started acting in January of 2019. That was my first acting class whatsoever. Um, and I came from, I've been practicing law for 20 years. So I switched, I'm going into acting just as it's something I wanted to do. I had a lifetime event that ended up making me cause me to get into acting. But anyway, um, I didn't have a roadmap. So I was like, man, you know, coming from 2018 into 2019 uh, and going into 2020, I said, well, look, I said in 2020, I wanted to be, do better, right? Because I was booking like maybe 10%, you know, as far as, I wanted speaking roles. I was great on featured, you know, I was doing featured background work, but I wanted more than that. So everybody kept telling me, look, man, you got to get out and audition. You got to do these uh, short films or whatever it is. Anything you get into this, that's going to, you know, make you get, go further. I needed that roadmap. So I was on set with uh, another actor and we were filming Chicago Med. Well, maybe I shouldn't be dropping the name of the show. Well, whatever. We were filming Chicago Med and he said, yo, he said, man, Ram, what are you doing? I said, man, I'm taking classes at the school. Or whatever I said, how about you? He says, man, I just I just got on with the the booking magnet. I'm like the booking magnet. He's like, yeah, it's a sister, man. She's killing the game. Forgive my slang, but this I'm telling you, this how I was saying. Was saying. <laughs> She's killing the game. I said, man, I, I ain't never heard of it. But you know, I'm always. I'm, I'm, but let me say this. I said, I'm I'm the first person. To say, just because you haven't heard of it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So I said, I'm gonna go online. I'm gonna check this booking magnet out. You know. So I Google some of the stuff, and um, I saw you know your your um, daily breads and stuff like that. And I start getting interested, right? And it just so happened that you were having the, um, I want to say like a free like uh, webinar or whatever where you could, you gave a little background. So I booked, I, I got into that, right? And um, when I saw that, that's what kind of led me to more like, man, she's got some good stuff. I'm gonna check it out further. So I hope I didn't ramble too long, but that's how I got started today. One of the biggest takeaways is flow like water, right? Because I remember, and I, <laughs> I knew I was messing up on this. I remember going in auditions and like practicing the night before and I got this man, I'm gonna deliver these lines. And the director looked at me and said, all right, but I want you to do it this way. And in my mind, I'm thinking, yeah, that's crazy. Like, why is he asking me to do that? You know, so I could tell, and I know my face probably said it too, because sometimes people say, man, your face would give a lot of weird stuff away, but I worked on that, thanks to you. But my face would give away certain things. And I would be like, kind of, I, I kind of took myself out of it. I really felt like that because when I didn't book it, I'm like, what did I do wrong? I was like, Rand, you probably gave him the face. And he said, no, nah, he don't want you. But now, after I did the course and I've got into other auditions, I'm rocking. They want me, I do my thing. They said, okay, I like it. That's good. Let's try this. Oh, that's great. Well, how about this? You know, I, I keep flowing like water, see? And then I know if I didn't get the part I, at the end, I know I booked that room because they're like, hey, I like everything you did. You know, and, I, and I'm understanding it now because before I was like, Damn. Sometimes I miss the role. I didn't book the role, but then I see the other person got it. I'm like, how do you get it? But like, I understand now that sometimes it's not your day. It's not for you, you know. And like you told me that again, I learned from this because education, man. I love education. And you educate us on that. Even though it's a, a person that's casting it or whatever, that's not the final say. So I could have rocked out with a cast director, but then the actual director would be like, nah, I'm not going with him. I want the other guy. So yeah, I learned that. I also, I knew, I also, the self tape was just tremendous because I knew I was doing it. Once I saw your thing, I saw I've been doing this wrong. I've been turning in some terrible stuff. I'm not kidding you, it was awful. So, but I learned now to be more concise. You know, I'm still not, you know, technologically sound like I should be, but I'm way better than what it was before. You know what I mean? With the actual tripod, all that kind of stuff like that, got my remote. And I'm feeling fresh and fancy over here now, but you know, I, once I saw your thing, I was like, oh, this is awful, man. But you also taught me another thing about you can send in two takes. I never would have thought of it, see? So I, different things have happened, you know, but uh, those things I took away. And also, one more thing was um, you told me about make the choices, commit to them. And I've even, and also in addition to that, you gave me that, that you had that little worksheet where you can actually write out the background of your character. That helped tremendously because in my last movie that I shot, I did that before I even went on set, and before I even auditioned, actually. But then once I, I booked the job and I went on set, I had that in the back of my mind. And a couple of times during the filming, 
the director would ask me a question about, well, you know, what do you think Brother Fred would do? And I just flew with it. She's like, wow, that's right at the top of your head. I said, but I'd already programmed in my mind. This is the character, this is how I see it. And so far she was good with it. So let me just keep rocking with it, you know? Um, so I, I took the class, started taking the class in January, right? Your class. And the audition came up at the end of January. So I had just started getting into the coursework, things like that. So um, I had auditions for other things, but I'd just been supporting roles, right? But this one was opportunity to be a lead role. And it paid, so I was glad to jump on that, right? Um, but I was nervous about it. You know, I was nervous because I never did a lead, and lead supposed to carry the whole thing and all that kind of stuff like that. But I went in there with the confidence of, and it was also a comedy, which I had never done before. You know, people said I'm funny and stuff like that, but I didn't see myself as a, a, a comedian, right? Because I can't write out jokes. I just live off of the moment. So anyway, I went in there and she had us do a monologue and then she had us tell us a funny story or whatever that happened in church because it was a church movie, right? So I, I I knew the woman who was filming it, she couldn't stop laughing. So I knew I was doing good, right? But the thing is, once I had taken, because you had taught us about the back, things like the backstory and how to just, just commit. I committed to that. I ended up booking the job. And after I booked the job, from being on that set, I got two other blind auditions because people who had watched me over those days had enjoyed me so much, the crew members, they referred me to other directors who reached out to me. It was crazy. It was like, hey, I, you've been referred to me for this, this, and that. And I'm like, whoa, you know, I, didn't even, I don't even know who referred me, but the director's like, it was somebody worked on a set with. I'm like, that's amazing. Cause I, you know, I'm just being me. Like you said, be nice to the crew, all the kind of stuff like that. I was enjoying, I was just happy to be on the set, to be a lead and feel it. Once I completed the project it was nice, but I didn't know anybody else would refer me for other things. Now, the bad thing about it is because COVID hit, you know, those things had to be suspended. But since taking your class, my, I, was, I told you it was at 10% as far as booking. You know, I'm up to 40. Now, if those other two, would I'm just saying, I'm telling you, I, <laughs> praise God, I'm up to 40. But those other two, I kind of felt confident about at least one of them, I might have booked more. So that pushed me up to 50%, you know what I mean? Because I was on a roll, but it all started with the course. And just going back to it, you know, and I'm glad you allowed us to be able to keep, you know, going back into it um, because I had to get some refresh some points, you know what I mean? Because at the time, you're just trying to get through it. But I had to refresh some things to make it better, you know, and try to fine tune it. Because at any time, for me personally, the first time you don't get everything. So I had to go back, so, oh man, I missed that. Right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I know those things that helped me from just taking the class, from, like I said, from that movie, it's already branched on. And, and I'm confident, even now, going into these self tapes, you know, I'm glad they're having these open calls and stuff like that. I'm just jumping in it. You know what I mean? I'm not, I don't have the the, the apprehension or the fear, or whatever, intimidation. I don't have it anymore. You know, I'm just going to get in, lay it out there, do the work, move on. I would oh. describe Christine's coaching style as <laughs> it's straight, no chaser, right? You, you reel with the information, but at the same time, you bring energy. And lastly, I, I feel that you, you you bring a motivating factor, right? So if I can expound just a little bit more on that, all right? When I say the realness, I've been to other seminars, webinars, classes, and they don't dig deep into it, right? And I, part of it could, could be for money reasoning, they want you to keep coming back, whatever. But I felt that, like I said, I didn't know you from anyone. Like I said, I just met from Will mention you, I Googled it, but like I said, I went in there and I listened, I paid attention to what you were saying, like a lot of this makes sense. You know what I mean? And once I got into it, I said, oh, this is definitely worth the money because I done paid a lot of money <laughs> and didn't come back with anything. So I need, I personally, I needed that. I needed that, I needed that accountability. You know, you got to check in with, you know, let's see what's going on. There's different things, you know, your, your, your reminders let you know, hey, you only have 40% now, you know what I mean? Because you can easily buy a course and don't get into it. But I felt like, but I enjoyed it though. Each time I was going in there. Now I'll admit, I haven't completely completed the course, but I got the main things down and I plan on completing it because obviously I paid for it, but you know, I really enjoyed it. So being direct, that's great. Um, and the energy, like I've been in classes and been bored to death, right? Like, come on, man, what are we doing here? Or I feel like it's just a lot of fluff. But no, you're giving us, you're giving us the real stuff. You're giving us a, a, a roadmap 
Now, for me, like a guy like me person coming in this thing a year ago, I had no clue. And I'm still learning. But I mean, like you said, you taught us what works for you. And I, I'm a believer of results. You know what I'm saying? You can tell me anything, but I look at the numbers. Numbers don't lie. People do, right? So your numbers are showing you know what you're doing and you've done well and you're willing to share because I know in this industry, people ain't really want trying to share. And if they are trying to share, like I said, they'll take your money and still not give you what you need. Uh, come on now. I mean, listen, I'm preaching now. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> Can I get a witness? <laughs> but yes, yeah, so those are the things that I say. For anyone who interested in, in taking your class, I say definitely do it. You, is, you're gonna, the only way you won't succeed is if you don't want to succeed, right? That's how I feel. Man, I can't stress it enough. You have a structure, you have what I can, what I call a roadmap um, that they can follow. You have great suggestions. You have um, web presence. You know, you got, you know, with the, the, uh, the, the book more talent. Uh, site or whatever, you can go into there and read from other people who are sharing information. And so that's a, that, to me, that's a big thing for, especially for a new actor. You don't, you can read a lot of stuff on here, but they may not, you may not think it does apply to you, but now you got a course where you can actually get into the meat of the things and also see other proven results. And that can carry you a long way. Cause a lot, of, but first I say from my own experience, there were times I've doubted myself and I was like, man, am I doing the right thing? Why, why am I blowing it? But now, like I said, I have, a whole new mindset, which you taught us. Um, another skill set, and I have another confidence level to it that I'm bringing to it now. You know, and I know I'm still new, but at the same time, I've advanced. Just my numbers alone from booking, jumping that high in that short amount of time. Where we at now? It's from January to what, April. Look, think about that. That's huge for me. It's huge. So, and, and I know a lot of people out there. They're wondering, can it work for them? And like I said, I personally believe that if you put in the time to learn it, to do the work, and to get out there. Because a lot of times you can do the work and still like, ah, I'm not gonna go to this audition and not do that. That's on you at that point. But you, Christine, are giving the people the opportunity to learn um, a proven way because it's worked for you and you've got credits to prove it. And if that's what you're looking for, then, you know, you can take some of it. You don't have to buy the whole thing, but you can take some parts of it and work it into your system and then see what it does for you. Because everybody's, everybody's path is different. But at the end of the day, we all want to book and we want to be successful. So I definitely say, take the course. Take the course.